Is this it? Welcome to Sherry Soda Tower. This historical building was once home to luxurious cook, serve delicious, delicious restaurant, but has since been in disrepair along with the rest of the tower. However, the recent economy boom has filled this tower to capacity and the owners of the tower would like to reopen the Cook Serve Delicious restaurant and put you at the helm. Delicious. You'll need to take this now zero star cafe and turn it into a five star world class restaurant. So first, we'll need we'll learn the basics very quickly. But before we do that, we'll need to see how much you're willing to handle. Choose the yeah. You don't want to pick anything other than standard difficulty unless you've completed this game and had a really easy time doing so. I'll just put it that way. Welcome back. So today we're going to pick up Cook Serve Delicious from the beginning. Even this game might look familiar. Um, press RB. We're trying to play this with the controller. So hopefully this will play just fine. LB to serve. Beautiful. Oh, I use RB to toggle? Okay, I see, I see. Press A to continue. Alright, ground meat. Apparently people like meat after it's been on the ground. I don't know why. Alright. And so we want... Queso. Oops, we don't want that. Goodness, this looks different. Guacamole. Beans. Um, rice. Oh, I see. And ground meat. Um, that wasn't quite it. Let's see. Let me see if we can get this. Alright, so you can see you need to get your food cooked, cook it for just the right amount of time, and then serve it. Um, and note that if you don't serve it, your customers get mad at you. Yeah, so, alright, let's get started. Here, let's reintroduce things. Welcome back. This game should look familiar. Uh, I'm playing it on a controller here, so hopefully it'll play okay. Um, this might look familiar, but... Um, so, I mean, we have a familiar, like, email, messaging system, menu, boosters, detractors, etc. We'll get through all this as we encounter it. Um, and uh, away we go. So, note, um, CSD2 is also available. Uh, we'll be playing that in the future. It'll be good fun. Um, it's got some patch notes for the newest release. So there's Steam Controller and DualShock 3 mapping supported, and you can now practice and select fish recipes if upgraded to three stars or higher, etc. Um, Robberies can now be practiced easier in the practice tourist mode. A fun CSD2 teaser was added, and some bugs are squashed. Uh, check out the website, cookservedelicious.com, for all the latest news in the sequel, and enjoy the game. Alright. This is a quick guide for using the service. The icons on the left of the main menu are new mail um, at the top, uh, read mail, etc., etc., there are different um, colors of emails that signify importance. You have yellow ones for information, green for opportunities at special events, and white emails <laughs> spam, which are good fun. Don't forget to enjoy the fun. All right, here's Chef Risotto congratulate, or wishing us good luck on our opening day and congratulating us on our opening day. Okay, that's weird, but okay, cool feels so overwhelming, doesn't it? I know you have the chops to run a success successful business, and hopefully our paths will cross sometime in the future. Drop by the Iron Chef studio sometime, and I can get you some audience tickets. Good luck. Well, yep, yeah, we're going to need some good luck. Oh, we need to pick some items on our menu to get started. We don't have a menu. Alright, 
Uh, so we're gonna need to purchase some things to throw on the menu. Let's just purchase the first few things, eh? Wait. Oh, just kidding. We don't have a fryer, but we can make corn dogs. We can make pretzels. Uh, we can make beer. That's always a favorite. We don't have a fryer, so our options are kind of limited, unfortunately. And ice cream? I think that'll be fun. Uh, we can also purchase some uh, equipment. Like, we could purchase a deep fryer if we were so interested. We might get that soon. Uh, let's throw together a menu. Oh, we don't have more than four slots on the menu anyway, so... We'll keep things simple. Uh, we'll put ice cream in slot number four and a healthy beverage in slot three. I think that'll be fine. All right, we're gonna learn it as we go. We'll do it live. It's the fun way to go. Just salt. All right. Yeah, we got it. We're so good at this. Very exciting day. One beer, please. Hey, two in a row. Not bad. Yeah, these tunes are pretty um, pleasant. All right. It'll take me a little while to get adapted to the controls here, but hopefully it won't be too bad. Just catch up. Alright, I suppose we can do that. <laughs> wonder when rush hour is going to start. Two chocolate and sprinkles. Alright, we can do that too. Anybody here want anything? I want mint chocolate. To move the thing down. One beer. Uh, okay. You get a beer, you get a beer, everybody gets a beer. Man, this controller is awkward for this game. Can't wait till we have like 35 things juggling all at once. It's gonna be great. And the Iron Chef Studio, Iron Cook Challenges, all the catering, all the things we are do uh, are gonna be good fun. We should get some premium beer. That way we can double our profits. Here we're just serving regular beer. The Brewski. There's all kinds of fancy beers that we can charge more money for once we have them. Gotta keep the place in business, you know. Uh, those holes in the wall aren't gonna paint themselves. Still on day one. And salt and butter. Yeah, hopefully, again, we'll be able to get more equipment, all kinds of fun stuff soon, but take it a little bit slow on this first day. Wait, that's a funny name for a hot dog, isn't it? I wonder if some of those things only appear once you've purchased the sequel. Or maybe those exist to promote the sequel? I don't know. Rush hour number two coming right up. I think it's at five, or is it six? Oh, apparently it's at six. Just kidding, then. Alright. 
Also, how come nobody requests cinnamon on the pretzels? Is that just the thing that only I like? Like, you can get salt on anything, but you can't get cinnamon on anything. I mean, you could, but that'd be weird. Cinnamon on a pretzel makes sense. Here we go. Oh yeah, feeling the rush. Trying to get a perfect day so we can line our pockets with a little bit more so we can purchase some pretty cool equipment. Uh, I kind of wish that like the reward scheme for this game were a little less reliant on perfect days. Um, I mean, I guess that if you have a really quiet day, it's easier to get a perfect uh, day because you're not serving as many people. But I think like if you're still in like the top 5% or top whatever percent of your days, that should still be a rewarded thing. That would be my take. Alright. Yeah, we got more buzz. Even though our shop's only going to be open, or our restaurant's only going to be open a few more hours, I guess a little extra buzz couldn't hurt while people get buzzed here. Just butter. Okay, we can do that. Man, nobody wants cinnamon. I get that's how the game was coded, but it still seems really weird to me. Maybe it's supposed to represent what people would actually order. It'd also be cool, like, if um, this game forced you to stock up on... Well, even the sequel doesn't force you to stock the restaurant. If you got to be both the manager and the chef, that'd be a more interesting twist. But if you had to make sure everything was in stock, and if you ran out of stock, if you had to improvise, I think that would be clever. Um, maybe tedious, I don't know. Oh, got in right before the buzzer there. There we are. Perfect day. We're going to get a message from Chef Risotto himself about our amazing, amazing day. Oh! And nice, we get our beer upgrade, just in time. Upgrades are special offers that allow you to increase the premium quality of your food. Some upgrades allow you to add a new ingredient to your food, and others simply increase the quality of your ingredients. Every upgrade allows you to charge a higher price for your foods, which in turn can dramatically increase your daily income. More upgrades will be available very soon, so keep an eye on your inbox. Alright, we have the tip jar. Oh, nice. We could use that. I cannot believe you managed to serve every single order perfectly yesterday, with no missed chores to boot. You are truly iron cook material. Please accept this gift, and continue cooking amazingly. The Chef Risotto have nothing better to do than... Okay, whatever. Seriously, why did you take away the burrito with the chips? That, why? Can you bring it back? I love those things. I'm not going to stuff my own burritos with the same kind of chips like a crazy person. I need someone to stuff my burritos. Seriously, I want my crazy burrito chips burrito back. Mary. Extension 293. Alright, we need the tip jar. That's essential equipment right there. Um... Let's go upgrade our beer. Yeah. Nice. Alright. Um, now, wait. Oh, I can't access specialty foods here. That's too bad. Um, let's see, is there any equipment I want to purchase? At some point I will want to do something. I mean, I could try getting the fryer and doing some frying stuff. That could be fun, too. Um... Or do I want to get a stove top, or what do I want to do? I know soup is like super complicated. Eh, why not? Why don't I go get soup? To get soup, I would need to have uh, a stove, which is something we didn't really exploit much in our previous run through this game. 
So let's get soup. I could practice it, but where's the fun in that? Now what else could we do with a stove top? Um, we need a grill for burgers. Oh. Wait, what? Um, I can't believe... I guess this could use a stove. That's interesting. Either that or we just serve it without cooking it. No, that's cool. Yeah, let's get pizza. It's our American favorite. Alright. Oh, we get specialty foods here, too. Uh, I guess these will unlock over time. Uh, once I have a star on my restaurant. Alright. Um, so, let's rotate things on our menu. Let's remove that and pop in... I like how they change some of these quality of life things. It's easier to pop things out and into the menu. That's really nice. Um, yeah, okay, we'll add salad just because I'm crazy. I think this will make for a good day. Um, yeah. Having not practiced any of these things with the new control scheme, let's see how it goes. Other than beer. We did beer yesterday. You can't have a shop without beer. Alright. Um, chicken. Bowtie noodle. Bouillon cubes. And celery. Um, Alright, we'll cook that. Tomato. Cheese, pepperoni, sausage, um, mushrooms, olives, and onions. Alright, we missed a customer. Um, bow tie noodles, seasoning, uh, tomato, carrots, celery, I don't know. Close enough. Cheese, that'd be why. Onions and peppers. Yeah, we're having an eventful day, that's for sure. Uh, come on, I can do this faster. Wait, can I serve things while I'm doing that? Maybe? Uh, come on. Alright, ranch. Cheese. Mushrooms. Uh, this is not good. <laughs> we have fallen so far behind because I did, I selected some things that made this way more difficult. Ranch and cheese. That's all they want. I'll serve you beer. Alright, ranch and cheese. You wanted something good enough. Um... Okay, you wanted a beer, here's your beer. You wanted tomato, sauce, cheese, bacon, mushrooms? Alright. Jeez, I could not have made this any more difficult if I had tried. Okay, cook that. You wanted your pizza. <sighs> Never do this again, ever. <laughs> I figured, you know, day one was so uneventful um, that, yeah, I could just do anything. Apparently, putting together all the complicated things which I've never practiced was probably not the way to go. Um, I thought it would give you a good learning opportunity. Sausage, um, mushrooms, olives, and onions. All right. Here's your beer. Well, I guess we're not getting two perfect days in a row, to put it mildly. Uh, celery. Cook that. Here you go. Just cheese. Here you go. Mushrooms. Tomatoes, greens, and carrots. Yeah, 
Yeah, I should pick some things which... I need either better equipment with which to prepare some of the stuff, or I just need to get better at the chores and all the other stuff which I've got to juggle here, or I don't know. Um, I don't know. I am improving at handling all these recipes, just perhaps I shouldn't have done them all on the same day for the first time in ever. Okay, you wanted everything here. Good enough. Pepperoni sausage. Okay, tomato sausage, bacon, mushrooms. Here you go. Just cheese. Ah, I tried. They should have been more specific with what they wanted. It's not that I at all was just not paying attention. Uh, ranch and cheese. Now, you can play this with a keyboard. Um, but that's cheating. Um, shit. Alright. Uh, you wanted something like that, probably. Bowtie, bouillon, and celery. Alright, here you go, here you go. Ranch, cheese, and everything. Nice. You know, we should have daily specials or something so that I don't have to learn all the things. Alright, you wanted chicken and all this. Here you go. Um, olives and onions? Okay, we can do that. Rich Brewski. Also, I need to get, like, table snacks or something to make these people more patient. Um, bacon, onions. Oh, that one. And maybe I need to hold off on some of these chores and not do them immediately. Because, um, doing them immediately sets me up to have to do more, uh, there we go. Uh, have to serve more customers more quickly. If I get through my chores too quickly, that opens up slots. <sighs> Pepperoni, bacon, and onions. That's a weird recipe. Okay. I have not missed a single thing in the chat window. Alright, so not a perfect day. Eight bad orders, um, but hey, we're making money, so. Uh, we've not passed a safety inspection. Ooh, we get fried chicken? That's probably easier than soup. Just won the lottery the other day, and I thought my favorite restaurant should uh, get a little slice of the pie. Enjoy, and thanks for all the delicious. That's very kind. Um, some emails have attachment of goods or funds. These can be simple photos to extra features and gifts that can help you on your journey to a five-star restaurant. Once these emails are in your inbox, simply open them and the attachment contents are automatically added to your restaurant. Oh, nice. Uh, rainy weather can benefit you, and there is going to be rain! So pick rainy foods. Um, Alright, so... Um, we can upgrade stuff, right? No, we can't. Just kidding. Um, alright, we can... Let me check what equipment we can get. Are we still stuck here? Page one of four. Oh, right bumper for next page. Alright, so... Nothing we can do there to make people more patient. That's too bad. Yeah, things like a toilet. And things like a dishwasher and garbage service are not yet available to us. So, um, I can pick more foods. Foods are fun. Um, it's unfortunate we can't upgrade anything. Uh, is there a next page? LS. What is LS? Oh, I see. That's what LS refers to. Why to view up and down? I thought there were more pages, are there not? 
Is this everything? They're specialty foods, that's for sure, but we can't afford any of those yet. We're just a zero-star restaurant. Um, what's on our active menu? We can see, oh, things with green are things people want to order. Yeah, we're going to remove pizza and put on ice cream. Oh, we're going to get so many people today. I'm so screwed. <laughs> All right, here we go. This can't possibly go well, but we have to try. All right, chicken, bow tie, and celery. That button. All right, cook that. Four, five, all right. Ranch, cheese, bacon, onions. Bowtie, bouillon, seasoning. All the things. I can't just swirl the stick, apparently. Um, greens and carrots. All right. Here you go. Here's your beer. You want a beer? You want a beer? Everybody gets a beer. Um, oh, I forgot. After serving so many refreshing beverages, I'm forced to clean up the dishes. Um, that's the one downside of this beverage, isn't it? It's the rich brewski, though. Which is so very different. In that it earns me like eight bucks instead of four every time I make one. Oh god. Um, damn, people need to be more patient. Uh, chicken and celery. Alright, cheese, onions, and peppers. Seasoning. Uh, here we go. Here we go, here you go, here. You want a beer? No ID required. No ID required, just serve it. Uh, bow tie, noodles, all this stuff. Could people stop ordering this stuff, please? Um, uh, darn it. I can't serve everyone. <laughs> People have, like, no... Pi oh, hope you like chicken in your soup du jour. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, now we get the person who wants ice cream. Of course, after rush hour, people ask for the easy things. Yeah. Apparently they didn't like that. Who could have guessed? Um... Ranch and cheese, onions and peppers. That one. Ranch and cheese, and that's it. That was easy to prepare. I'm concerned about this upcoming rush. So, I guess when the safety inspector comes around, I'll just have to make sure to attend to the chores and forget about the customers. The safety inspector doesn't really care whether I serve the customers or not. They just care whether uh, the rules are being followed. Which is kind of weird. You'd think that they'd care. Wait, didn't I just do that? Am I imagining things? Either way, once we get our one-star restaurant, that should hopefully make things easier. <laughs> um, I wonder what soup de jour is supposed to mean anyway. I'm certain someone, at least one of these loyal viewers here, must understand what it means. I could look it up. I should look it up. Onions. Alright. Chicken. 
noodles, noodles, celery. All right. The beer. You wanted a beer. You wanted a beer. Here's your beer. Um. Oops. You wanted this. Here you go. You wanted one. Not doing too bad today. Certainly feel like I'm doing better than yesterday. Uh, shit. This person wants seasoning too, so don't forget that. Ranch and cheese. It's nice when they give you easy dishes. Okay. Left, right, left, right, B. Left, right, left, right, B. Come on. And we got that just in time. Nice. <sighs> Screens and carrots. Nice when they ask for simple things, you know? I wish I could charge a premium for these kinds of soups. Um, to encourage people to order my other dishes. Although, depending on where I live, that might actually encourage them to order the more expensive thing. <laughs> Some people do that. Bow tie and all this stuff. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I hear one thing about these uh, pots that they use on the stove is that gradually they build up more and more salt over time. And so that kind of wears away at the pot. At least that's what I hear. Um, oh, it's not bad. I mean, we got two bad orders, but who doesn't? Who doesn't get bad orders? You can do soda upgrades if you're insane. You get table snacks. Oh my goodness, I so need that. Right. Because there are ways to improve customer patience. Such as getting table snacks. Um, another rain warning. Really? As I locked my door today, I felt a stiff, stiff breeze in the air. Some would call it a change of weather or meteorological conditions, but I call it the winds of change. For we are all going forward together in this world, and none of us can alter the perception of the past, except for changing the present to dictate our future. And truly, that is the destiny of humankind. I am aboard this ride called life, and I am happy to be partnered with you all. Let's do this. Gerard, poet and author, also an accounts receivable extension 2033. But he's most importantly a poet and an author. And totally not that AR guy who just takes um, the money. So... Uh, can't upgrade anything just yet. Um, oh, right. Equipment. Table snacks. This is a must-have. That's non-negotiable. Okay, we got 1442 with which to do... I don't know what. Is there something we want in particular? Not that I see. I think we've got a lot of really good foods already. Are people tired of the things in our menu? No. They're quite content. They're all going to show up in droves to order all the really complicated stuff that I can't figure out how to serve. Sounds like a blast. Let's see what we can do. Chicken, all the things that bumper thing. I'm not too accustomed to playing games that use both a bumper and a trigger, so that's kind of why I'm struggling with all this. Um, I'm sure over time I'll get the hang of it. Wait, B is this one? Why don't I remap this dishes thing? Although I could see like why it's mapped the way it is. Uh, it's designed to be tedious. Um, yeah, no, there's ways you could map this to make it easier. 
But that'd be um, the easy way out. Perhaps uh, holding the controller a slightly different way is going to help me out with this game, too. Alright. The yin and yang. It's a beautiful dish. And this game has beautiful artwork, to be honest. Ranch. Uh, greens and carrots. Come on. We don't have all day. Uh, cheese. One of those things. Close enough. Go figure. <laughs> At least that didn't break our combo to fail two in a row. It allows us to set a combo of a different sort. Um... But if, you know, people could not just um, order all the super complicated things during rush hour, that would be great. Or if rush hour didn't hit during the middle... Oh! Yeah, the rush hour and the storm hit at the same time, which is what um, made that difficult. That and a lack of reading comprehension on my part. Um, there we go. Wow, six dishes? That's a lot. Onions and peppers. How many recipe cards do I have anyway? I feel like I don't have too many salads that I am supposed to know. But apparently there are enough that I just can't remember them all. Mushrooms and tomatoes, greens and carrots. Chicken, all the noodles, all the cuttable things. And serve that. Or co is cook the appropriate term for preparing a soup on top of a stove? I think cook is the appropriate term. Yeah, because you would use bake for an oven, cook for a stove. Um, I tried to add the sprinkles first, and that didn't quite work. Um, but yeah, 20 days I, of service I think are required to um, get your thing upgraded to a one-star restaurant. So we're not quite happy there. But there, are, there is something therapeutic or cathartic or something about um, playing this game. It sets you in this kind of um, zone, if you will. Um, where you do have to do some work, but um, it's... It's calmer than perhaps other environments. Uh, cheese green and carrots. Always failed that one. Uh, okay. Oh, nice. People aren't being too demanding. All those table snacks have really helped out with making uh, customers more patient. Ranch cheese, bacon, onions. All right. Chicken noodles. Damn it! I missed. I overshot, and I tried to come back for it, and I wasn't fast enough. Um, even the table snacks couldn't have saved me there. That was my own fault.
Oh. You just want celery. You don't want all that other stuff. Okay. Um. I don't know why not. I wonder how many times I messed that up. Again, reading comprehension can be a struggle. Which I'm sure is part of the point of the fun and the madness of this game. Although I seem to be getting it under control, so... Alright. Ooh, we get french fries. An upgraded french fries. <sighs> I'm a local blogger, and I plan to write a great review of your food, so I hope the extra buzz helps. Enjoy! The taste of excellence. Very nice. Ooh, the iron cook is casting chefs. Um, if you have a three-star restaurant or higher, then you could be the next iron cook. Ooh, we got a safety inspection due. Um, <laughs> Have you serviced 39-101 pump jacks or 11E-35 oil derricks? Then we need your help. A local oil island is in disrepair and we can lease you the land to you in exchange for profits and royalties. If you're interested, contact us at Extension 2000 or visit us at Suite 22 for more information. Not sketchy at all. Alright, so... Uh, we'll get the deep fryer because, you know... We ought to serve some fried foods. Wouldn't be a restaurant if we didn't have fried foods, right? Or we wouldn't be an American restaurant. So let's fry up some sopapillas. This is a fried thing, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is a fried thing. I remember having prepared that. Fried chicken. All right. Uh, so let's change up our menu. Um, take all this confusing stuff off the menu, and put sopapillas and fried chicken on there. So our bloggers written us a review of how great we are, and he has no idea that I just swapped out everything we serve for a completely different menu. Well, that's nice I could just flick the uh, my hand across the buttons there. It really gets a sense of wiping um, a dish if you swipe your hand across multiple buttons on this controller. Um, that's quiet. Apparently even that blogger couldn't save my reputation. One greasy fried chicken order. Alright. That wasn't so hard. Oh dear, is everybody going to order that and it's going to take like 15 seconds to dunk every one of these? Three, four... Okay, good enough. It's only like four to five seconds a piece. Um, so I guess because I have the table snacks, I'm not screwed. Uh, but still, that's going to be tedious. Dunk it. Oh, you want sugar on yours. Um, greasy fried chicken order. No sugar. Of course, the one of them says sugar and the other says no sugar, just to help you differentiate ever so easily. Apparently the people who want food are uh, slightly more patient than the people who just want a beer. Um, come on, let's do this. Oh boy, can I get to station four in time? Damn it! Well, we got a 20 times combo. That's not bad. So when's the safety inspector coming by, or had they already come by? 
There they are. How's it hanging? Yeah, you're excited about this as I am. <laughs> Would you care to order anything, safety inspector? Just kidding, I'm not trying to bribe you. Sure, I can't serve you anything. You just want to stand there and inspect? Cool. Yeah. You should have brought some confetti or something with you. Just liven up the place a bit. So I guess I'm not getting a perfect day today, because I missed the one customer. Just barely. I was like screaming out the door, hey, wait, and they were gone. I don't understand, like, how people don't realize this is such a... I know it's tedious in a way, but it's... In some other kind of way, it's action-packed. Like, when you have to juggle all these various priorities, it's action-packed, but not nearly as much as, um... Say, StarCraft. This allows you to just handle one thing at a time and still get that rush. That's panic that comes with um, all kinds of nonsense happening simultaneously. Also, once the 5th and 6th prep station open up, I'm pretty sure um, things are just gonna go to heck. Symbol. Oh, that's the A button. Did I not hit that earlier? Oh, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Okay, just barely made it. Just barely made it. Whoever tested this must have done an excellent job testing it. Because it's just perfectly balanced, you know, in that most combinations of dishes you can put together are manageable, but you'll find it challenging still. Oh, also, Sopa Pia's cooked much faster than chicken. It's worth noting. Later on, people want all kinds of things added to their chicken. But here, they're not so picky. Or rather, your menu doesn't offer um, additional items. Yeah, we missed one order and we get this gloomy music. And that was because our customer just bailed on us. That's okay. Get salad upgrades. We've got a dishwasher. Oh, that's exciting. Get more equipment. Extra events. Uh, open up in your restaurant career. They can range from small catering events to the Iron Cook challenges filmed in Hollywood. Who knows what you might stumble upon later in the game. Alright, there's going to be rain. Our uh, health and safety inspector is cool with us. This food is so good. I want to marry whoever runs this place so I can get free food for life. LOL, JK, I'm married. But man, I just want to eat there forever. Well done. Ah, such glowing optimism. Alright, so... Um, oh, we could upgrade our salad. How about... Refreshing your salad with a new Thousand Island dressing. Yeah, if we had the money to do it, that'd be cool. 
Um, oh, we don't have any extra events just yet. Okay. I guess blowing all our money on that stove, um, or whatever we did, it, whatever we spent it on, probably wasn't the wisest idea. Alright, we're gonna throw all the complicated stuff back on the menu. Actually, let's put pizza on. And soup. Yeah, pizza and soup. If I were crazy, actually, yeah, let's do something crazy. Salad, pizza, soup, and beer. Most impossible beginner menu ever. Because why not? I just want to see how badly I can fail this, but also how many tips I can get. Well, he asked for beer at 9am. Doesn't even tip. Rude. Maybe if I took longer serving it, they'd tip more. Wouldn't that be an interesting effect? I really made it look like I was putting in a lot of effort to prepare that particular beverage. Um, chicken... and celery. Tomato, cheese and sausage, and that's it. Okay. I thought I read something else there, but there were just a lot of words on that card. This isn't going so bad. Let me jinx it. Pepperoni and sausage. Rush hour. Ranch cheese. Mushrooms and tomatoes. Um, onions and peppers. Alright. Come on, I could use some help with some of that. Oh shit. Uh, you wanted all of the everything. Good enough. Chicken, bow tie, all the things. Ooh, I failed that one. Just the cheese. You know, I could have just like held that there forever. And to boost my combo. Um You can leave a food cooking for a very long time to get a very high combo. And they'll just sit there and watch you. Like, you have no risk of burning the place down, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, oh, I messed that one up. I wonder what I did wrong. I wonder... I forget if the sequel offers uh, ability to accidentally burn down the place. Bowtie noodles, bouillon cubes, seasoning, tomato, carrot, celery, and that's it. Alright. Just greens and carrots. That was easy. That thunder means everybody's about to burst through the door there. Of course, they'll all want soup du jour. Sorry, we're out of soup. What else do you want? <laughs> and they'll be like, but you have it, it's right over there. And, no, sorry, we're out. You're gonna have to order something else. Oh, that'd be so good if you could do that. Just to spite your customers. And then the next person orders the same thing and like, oh yeah, here you go. Um, I wonder why you can't do that. Well, I guess because you're a chef, not a waiter. Um, oh, this one's backwards. A X A X A X. Tomato, cheese, olives, and onions. 
that was weird. Ranch, cheese, bacon, onions. Alright. Mushrooms, greens, ranch and cheese. Okay, we got this. You wanted a beer? Here you go. Um, ah, I missed one. Onions and peppers. Uh, there we go. Cheese, greens, and carrots. All right. Um, uh, good old stay hydrated, bot. Our loyal, our most loyal viewer. We'll stay there no matter what. Deserves some kind of badge. Um, come on. Alright, we didn't let the rodents escape. That's good. Okay, that was another rush survived. Um, mushrooms, olives, and onions. Who wants that? What is that called, by the way? I should have looked at the name of the recipe card. The deluxe pizza has everything. Uh, cheese, onions, and peppers. Some of these names don't correspond to real world recipe names. Um,. I always wonder, like, if you serve them an empty beer glass, do they pay? Because that'd be cool if they did. It'd be 12 bucks in tips. Not bad. Yeah, we're on our way to 20 days of service. I kind of wish you didn't have to do so many days of service to upgrade stuff. Ooh, you darn good cook, I'll tell you that, but I bet you're not as good as you think. My name is Crazy Dave, and I love me some gambling. There's no better way to earn some fast cash than putting up a few bets against your skills as a cook. You accept my bet, I'll take your 300 today, and see how you do. You win the bet, so tomorrow I'll give you 600. You lose, I'll just keep your 300. How about them apples? 15 perfect orders in a row. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Oh, nice. You paid... You paid Tyne? You paid fine for the overdue book, The Chef Mind, How to Be an Iron Cook and Lose 30 Pounds in 30 Days, was recently found to be an error on our part. Or your paid fine. Please accept this refund and our apologies. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, nobody cares about your poets and rhymes. And stop using the official broadcast email list to write your weird poems and sonnets and whatever. Hey everyone, let me know if he does it again. Jeez. Again, from accounts receivable. What's up with AR? It seems like they're having a quarrel there. Just to put it mildly. Alright. Yeah, let's uh, add in some mint chocolate. Oh, I can't afford that. Um, <laughs> we've done it again. Our R&D team have concocted a new chemical recipe to our chickens to make them fuller, plumper, juicier, and even better for deep frying. It might be hard to tell with a fried hour shell, but trust us. This new upgrade of chicken will have your customers paying more than they would for the current chicken you have available. Upgrade today. Yeah, it's the same chicken. They'll just pay more for it. Okay, we can do that. Let's take all the difficult stuff off the menu, which would be salad, pizza, and soup. And just put easy things on our menu, like ice cream. And, okay, fine, we'll add in chicken, because why not? Um, salad isn't too hard, we can actually put that back in. I think that'll work out okay. 
Hey, if it isn't the Grandmaster himself. How's it hanging, Fabby? I can call you Fabby, right? You cool with that? Alright, so yeah, we just, um, just took our bet with Crazy Dave. We just need 15 perfect orders in a row. Nice. So what's it going to be for the World Championship? What's your secret prep? Or you're not going to tell me that. awkward moment of silence there. The secret prep is watching Twitch streams. Oh! Alright. Yeah, you'll never see that coming. Oh, come on! You sure you're not the real Fabby? I think you're pulling my leg there. I think this is the really the Grandmaster himself. Come in to watch me play some Cook, Serve, Delicious. Okay, fine. We'll keep it a secret from everybody else, then. If that's how you want to play it. Alright, cheese, onions and peppers. I hope I get all this in time. Oh shit. Damn it! That's a 10x perfect combo. We need a 15 to beat um, Crazy Dave's wager. I guess that's what I get for having things that require some kind of prep. Or, I'm sorry, that's what I get for serving beer, I guess. Because that's the one that forces me to do dishes. But seriously, um... This shouldn't be so hard to do. We're at ten already. We have another chance. Ranch, cheese, and everything. Four to go. Oh, A X A X A X A X B. All right, good. Is this an American game? Indeed, it is. At least I'm pretty sure it is. It's got all kinds of American foods in it. I don't know the developer personally, but uh, the localization of it's uh, in English, and there's a lot of American foods in here. So, hey, serve. Okay, there you go. Two more to go. Uh, the developer, as he was making the sequel, did livestream parts of his development, so he is pretty fluent in English. We'll give him that. Um, cheese, onions, and peppers. There we go. Fifteen. We beat Crazy Dave's bet. That's all we needed was fifteen. Although well, a perfect day would earn us a little bit more pocket change with Chef Risotto. Um, we can't make every day a perfect day. That'd be too easy. <sighs> so. I understand this game is not the most popular thing I do, but I do want to do it from time to time. Um, at some point I should go back and play some more Shenzhen IO. It's just I've been a bit too overwhelmed to do that. Um, I should retest the, uh, relay chest site. Make sure that's actually up and running, and try out all its features. And perhaps tonight might be a better opportunity to do that. We should prepare some dinner first. Uh, whoops. That was almost what you ordered. Why can't people just be happy with what they almost ordered? I give him extra food. 
You complained about it. How ungrateful. enough. Do I wash my- oh yeah. I hope I wash my hands when I'm done doing that. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Cook faster. Bacon. Onions. Good enough. Uh, just greens and carrots. Alright, here you go. Got to publicize this game a bit, you know. Um, either that, or at some point, I should go back and play again. Oh, what was it? Um, it's not border crossing. No, it's um, papers, please. This reminds you of Windows generic game, which you bake a cake, huh? Did not know about that one. It sounds pleasant. You're talking about Portal, right? Or are you talking about Mario 64? Oh, a Windows game. Involving a cake baking thing. I remember there was a game that got released on Steam that was just Overcooked, which is a collaborative baking game. I never got it, because it's... oh. Purple Place. Oh, that's cool. I'll check that out. Alright. Baked Potato Upgrade now available. Ooh! Um, garbage Service is now available to purchase. Active menu slot unlocked. Wait, did I activate another menu? Okay, there's gonna be rain. I won the bet, of course. 50% off all tacos. Dude! I want tacos now. Yeah, okay, so I did unlock an extra menu slot. Nice. Uh, it was pre installed on Windows, was in 7. Like Hearts or Minesweeper. Um, alright, so we can upgrade what now? Ice cream and salad. Well, oh goodness, that's a tough choice. I want to upgrade both of them. Um, but everybody orders salad, not, um, the other things are less popular. But more importantly, didn't we just hear that... Um, oh wait, right bumper, next page. Yeah, we can purchase a dishwasher and we can purchase garbage service. Some of these things would greatly assist us. Um, I feel like the dishwasher thing takes longer. I honestly want to get both of these. I think both of these are my top priority. Um, Yeah, I think I just have more dishes than I have garbage at present, so we're going to do it that way. Alright, are people tired of my stuff yet? Ooh, we could add soup back on the menu. And while we're at it, let's do the truly maddening thing. With soup on the menu, um, let's add pizza back on. What could possibly go wrong? Alright, here we go. Oh! Beat Magnus. Yeah, go do it. Because, you know, if we didn't tell you to do it, you wouldn't. So go do it. We'll be looking forward to it. This is going to be complete madness here. That We've unlocked um, four difficult dishes plus beer. So hopefully people like beer. I'm not going to be able to keep all this straight. Oh, I wonder. Are those icons, like, things everybody has? Are those global emotes? That's pretty cool. Dip, 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 dip. 
doesn't look like it. Bowtie noodle. Seasoning. This, that, and the other. These are not global. Alright, let's see. These are by... Bunny Ears A and Bunny Ears B. Huh. That's pretty cool. Oh man. Chatting and playing this game is like the most exhilarating thing. Ranch cheese. Um, tomato cheese. Olives? Onions? Okay, fine. Ranch cheese, mushrooms. Alright. Why do you order all my difficult stuff? Okay. Ranch cheese, bacon croutons. This game is meant to give you, like, a sense that you're failing. It's often more forgiving than it looks. Um. But get one thing wrong, and it'll remind you. Alright. Uh, tomato cheese, pepperoni, bacon, and onions. I tried. Ranch and cheese. Alright. So what chat would I miss out on? Just want to remind him that... Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, you wouldn't want him to forget about that. A lot of people would have to remind him. Um, or would be reminding him if he managed somehow to forget about that. Whew! Okay, so we only dropped one customer? Two customers? I don't remember. Um... I mean, there are ways you can min-max this game to make it easier and make a profit, but um, that's boring. Olives? I mean, people ask for olives. What can you do? I mean, you could do what I typically do, which is uh, serve them something other than what they ordered. I'm pretty good at that. I kind of wish, like, I could, um, have my chat bot somehow, like, take bets as to when I'm next going to fail in order. Like, what's my combo gonna be? Um, alright, bowtie noodles, seasoning. Usually I either just throw in too few or too many ingredients if I feel I can't get it all in time. Bacon and onions. That's really weird. Have I mentioned that it's weird? Chicken, bow tie noodle, bouillon, and celery. See? That was easy. Um, wait. I have to wash my hands before taking out the trash? What kind of nonsense is this? Can't let those rodents go. Pepperoni, bacon, and onions. Okay, you wanted a beer? Here is your beer. Ranch, cheese, onions, and peppers, and a beer. Uh, it's not bad. All right. Am I as good as the bot? Unfortunately, no. The bot is quite good. It's like asking if a person is as good as stockfish. It, um, you might find somebody that good, but it's going to be difficult. Um, hang on one second. Yeah, I wish... Oh, I'm sorry. You know that uh, automated AI thing. The AI that's like self-learning and stuff. Um, 
um, the developer of that, who goes by the serpent, who goes by the name of Serpent AI, has resumed development on his library, which is also named Serpent AI. So, I figure like some months from now, maybe one month or some weeks, I don't know. Once it gains some critical mass, I'll be rehosting um, his stuff. Right now, it's more proof of concept than anything, but. I'm thinking it's getting more and more practical use, um, becoming a lot easier to use. And I might even start experimenting with it again at some point. Uh, oh. Sorry. I see that there's a missed typo, something. Hi, are you as good as the bot you made for this? And then to say hi, and then yes. Dan, oh, okay. Is my bot, uh, no, I hard-coded a bot. Rather, I took a bot that was hard-coded and expanded it a bit. Um, so it could handle most of the recipes in this game. And it got pretty damn good by the time it was done. Rat pesticide. It's probably not a bad thing. Mysterious tickets. What are they? What do they do? How do you use them? How many do you currently have? Where do they come from? Weird. Nest in the Valley of Ranch. This product destroys lives. Don't fall for it. Call extension 299 for protection. Or you might be too. Okay. That's cool. 624. I'm guessing 624 is not enough. No, I can't afford garbage service. I can't afford pesticide. Perfect. <laughs> um, should we do another day? Let's do another day. Hopefully it won't rain again. Because if it rains, um, we're going to have a, another busy day here. Because people like, we got all our comfort foods for a rainy day. Um, so, um, actually, the bot that I'd taken um, had a number of recipe cards that were all like driven by spreadsheets. Or more uh, precisely, comma separated value files. Um, I'm sorry, no, I found two of them. One of them was driven by such a thing, and I had greatly expanded upon its recipe collection. Although I don't remember if it ever mastered everything. Um, and at some point, I had thought, you know, I'd, uh, rather than taking the same tact uh, and trying to do that with the auto-learning library, Serpent AI, I thought I would try to um, use that learning AI on a simpler game, which was... what was the name of it? The one where you serve the beverages. What was the one where you serve all the beverages? It's the futuristic cyberpunk sort of game. Uh, I will be playing it again at some point just for fun, but... Um, not that I ever got too far with it. Uh, yeah, and you wanted this. You can actually prep one food and serve another at the same time. Uh, what was the name of that? Cyberpunk Bartending Adventure. Not 2064, although it's set in the same universe. Um, I almost tried to serve that empty. Uh, sausage. Okay, so what was that? Yeah, Valhalla, that was it. Good call. <sighs> we made it through that rush. That wasn't bad. 
bow tie, uh, all these things. Come on. How long does soup take to cook anyway? Oh, you Googled it! Ha! Even better! Because, yeah, like, I only briefly featured that while trying to do it with the AI. Left it going for a day or two, and it made absolutely no progress. Um, which was unfortunate. I was far too optimistic about its, um, about the framework I was using, but maybe, maybe later this year, um, the, that framework will be get, uh, improve at object detection. And once it can detect, like, I don't know. The OCR is not the hard part. The OCR is if you want to serve all the correct beverages, but simply serving something should be something the bot could aspire to do. Um. Oh. I almost didn't see the trash there. Four, five. Alright. Cheese pizza. That's pretty nice. I'm gonna have something similar for dinner, honestly. Ranch. Greens and carrots. It confused me that I'm using the same combinations of buttons to prepare very different dishes. Chicken, all these things. You wanted a beer. Oops, I spilled. <laughs> My... My thumb slipped off the stick for an instant while I was trying to prepare that, and I overcompensated. Whoops, almost spilled that one too. I don't know why people complain about spilled beverage. Oh, did I not cook that enough? Or did I put the wrong things in it? I can't even tell anymore. Uh, bacon. I do like how, um, as rush hour approaches, people will ask for easier dishes. It's not something that was explicitly mentioned anywhere in the game, but it definitely seems to be the case. Because otherwise, uh, people would complain this game's impossible. Uh, what's that? I do actually have the source for this game. Um, took one look at it, and while it is a work of art, it's that, um, well, first of all, it didn't have any of the music or sound effects. Well, no, it had the sound effects. It didn't have any of the music. Um, so I'd have to put in the music myself, which I could do, but... Um, it just feels frustrating that, I don't know, like to be developing the game with half the game not there seems kind of weird. I could understand there's like copyright issues and stuff. Um. So there's re there's valid reasons why the music wasn't bundled with the source. Um, I get that, but oh wow, we got so many upgrades and things here. Air conditioning is now available. Tower security notice. So robberies can occur during the day and can have a negative impact on Buzz and on your bank account. The only way to get your money back and not receive negative buzz for the next day is to capture the robber using your excellent artistic skills. Robbery should take priority over anything else when you have go uh, you have going out in the restaurant, so be alert. Cook for love coming up. Menu rots occurring. People are tiring of my menu. Safety inspection is going to happen. You see Guanto as... Ah, uh, come on. Okay, whatever. Um... We get 986, which is enough to purchase one of these things. Air conditioning is pretty nice, but so are all these other things, honestly. 
Uh, like garbage service seems super helpful. Um, but it only cuts what you have to do in half. Whereas AC, um, yeah, keeps all your customers patient. So we're going to do that. Uh, menu rots occurring, meaning I have to shuffle out this item, put something else in its place. Because they get tired of having the same thing on the menu every day. So we'll put chicken in. Um, and here we go, day 11. Uh, so I totally got sidetracked there by all those messages. Um, and I did not answer your point, which was about the game development and the source. Um, so along with the source came an apology from the developer. Um, saying that, you know, he learned a lot as he was developing this game. And you could look at the source and see, like, at what point he realized um, he had to restructure things a bit. Um, because making any kind of expansion to this game became quite tedious due to the way in which it was structured. So um, adding stuff to this, adding content to the game is not going to be easy. Um, if I'm super motivated I might attempt to do it. Although I don't know if I would start with the same source. It's wonderful that it comes with all the assets. Um, so I think one could make some kind of uh, prototype, some sort of demo of this game um, using the assets. They are excellent assets. It's just um, I'm kind of doubtful that you'd be able to get too far trying to stick with the way the source code is structured and still be able to add tons of content to it. We're having a good day here today, aren't we? This is not going too poorly. Our customers are pretty patient with us today. It's like having AC actually matters. Cheese, bacon, and croutons. Not bad. We're having a good day. Gotta say, this is going much better than previous days. And it looks like I'm quickly picking up all the recipes that I've not served before. <sighs> and our bitrate's constant, too. I sometimes wonder, like, if the bitrate goes to heck or something, as the rush hour ensues. Because I can see here the bitrate staying at a constant 1800, as it should. But it seems like as things get more chaotic with the game, somehow the bitrate varies? I would have expected it, if it were to vary in any direction, I would have expected it to increase. Um, not that there's any room for it to increase, because... Um, yeah, I'll have to try this at a higher bitrate and see if it's any higher fidelity. Or I guess I'll have to watch the bot and see, like, if stuff's cutting out. I just assume that this game is not that intense, so there would be no signal quality... Um, what's the word? Fidelity loss. I assume that everything would work just fine.
I mean, certainly OBS doesn't care about uh, the exciting music. Finding the button to actually serve the order is the tricky part. Okay, so it's the right bumper to select an order to serve. Um, it feels like even the chores are more patient with us. Which, I don't know if that makes sense. the thing that's got everything in it. Um, I almost missed one there. Okay, one fried chicken coming right up. Golden fried chicken. Alright, ranch and cheese. Give that person cheese and ranch, but they didn't complain. And it's funny, despite adding the cheese first and then the ranch later, uh, you saw how the ingredients layered there. Whoops. Well, I messed that up. Rip my perfect combo. Still having a good day, though. Damn. How many did I miss today? Was it just the one? Because that happened when I was trying to look over and see what my bitrate was and if it would, had spiked or anything. Yeah, I missed just one order. That's wonderful. Chef Risotto is not going to give me a bonus for that. Fish upgrade available. Chicken breast upgrade available. Seriously, fantastic stuff over here. I have a ton of friends, and we'll spread the word about your awesome food. Good stuff. Good day, sir or madam. I hope today is a fine one for you. Your cooking skills are about to be challenged. Oh, never mind. Um, never mind who or what I am. Think of me as someone who loves good entertainment here at CookBets. I have taken the liberty of hacking your email client and installing a new bet option on the bottom left side beneath the favorites button on the main email menu. Here you will find a new random bet each day that you may partake in at the cost of one silver ticket. I'll give you three tickets to start with, and you can purchase more in the equipment menu after you have obtained a three-star restaurant. Win, and your fortune will increase rapidly. Keep in mind that this is for advanced cooks only. Good luck and good day. Be, please enjoy your new cook bed up. Do not reply to this email. Yeah, there's a Steam leaderboard, although that really isn't changing much now that CSD2 is out. Alrighty. So, 750 is enough for what now? It's enough for garbage service, but not enough for rat pesticide. That should help us out. So we have six bucks in the bank. Um, where's my cook bet thing? Is this the cook bet? That's not the cook bet. Get 4x per 41x uh, with the following on your menu. Yeah, except I can't afford that stuff on my menu, specifically the soda machine. Um, so unfortunately that's not going to be feasible. Um... So here's our active menu. Hmm. So I'm debating what do I take off, what do I put on. We're going to take soup off the menu because that's nuts. I think the rest of this is good though. Um, why don't we just ease things up a bit and put uh, sopapillas on instead of salad. Salad is a high profit item, but 
Okay, we'll see uh, with our advanced equipment if things become slightly easier. It's gonna be a lot of fried food today. All this is making me hungry. So maybe I'll make this the last day. I know I'd kinda hoped to make it to um, the one star restaurant today, but I am hungry. Might have to come back after dinner to complete this. But um, there are other games people want me to play too, so. Hmm. What do I do? What do I do? If only somehow I could play this and have dinner. That would be the ideal world. Yeah, I think this one's called Cheesy Peppers, if I remember right. A number of the tracks of the soundtrack are named after the dishes. Um, so, by that I mean the recipe cards. Olives and onions pizza. Ew. Okay, here you go. I hope you enjoy it. So much fried chicken. That's how you know this is an American game. Okay. We might get a perfect day today if I'm lucky. If I'm lucky. This might be tricky, though. It's rush hour number one. That was pretty intense. I get the sense... Oh, at least it's not a rainy day. I get the sense that, uh... Probably I'm not getting a perfect day. Because that's, like, super difficult. And, um, I mean, I have got a number of equipment upgrades to make it easier, but I keep picking all the really challenging dishes, because I think those are most entertaining to do and most entertaining to watch. Um, tomato sauce, cheese, sausage, mushrooms, olives, and onions. Okay. I should look at the names of these recipe cards so I can remember them and look them not look them up, but remember what they are. And not have to read the card every time. But it feels like I'm always in a hurry when somebody orders a complex thing. Usually because the, they aren't the only one ordering something. Oh, this is the deluxe. So it's the one that's got everything. At least all the basic ingredients. I think there are expansions that get added to pieces pretty soon. Um, Alright, one sopapilla order and sugar. Can do that. That's it. They don't want any sprinkles, they don't want any cherries, they want nothing. Rush hour number two. We can do this, maybe. Thank goodness we got AC and we got table snacks and such so people- Oh, shit. What did I even miss there? Um, That wasn't what you ordered. 
I'm getting all my buttons confused, but this is definitely not a perfect day. This used to be close. Oh goodness. I failed a beer. I failed another beer and didn't even serve them anything. That was lovely. <laughs> oh, I panicked. Oh, that was... That was spectacular, even by my standards. Um, pepperoni, bacon... I'm so hungry. I can't play this game while hungry. It's too difficult. It just occurred to me that people who actually work in this industry um, have to put up with being hungry on the job. Although I'm sure... Like, they do get breaks, but uh, it's got to be brutal. At the same time, if, you have, if you're serving and seeing the same foods every day, maybe it's less alluring in that way. Um, the Italian pizza is the name for that fancy one. That sounds good. Okay, the deluxe. You ordered it at 9.58 p.m., dude. Not cool. Not a perfect day. But hey, we got an $8 tip for sticking around late, so that's nice. <sighs> so we got eight days to go before uh, we get our one-star restaurant. Let's check our email. We can get a pasta upgrade. Unclaimed money. Oh, nice. We found that you've returned. That you have some unclaimed money. Refunded taxes. Based on previous restaurant ventures in our records. Well, they remember that. Uh, the following are unclaimed funds from the following businesses you will be receiving today. Um, okay. Two restaurants. We get 200 bucks in our account. Not bad. Menu routes occurring, gotta shuffle the menu. Steam leaderboard challenges, stars in the sky. Have you noticed? There are figures in the sky. Outlines of ancient men and women that may be spirits? Well, I don't know, man. It seems too crazy not to be true. Hmm. Alright. Let's check out the gallery. Oh, we can't get to the art. Okay. Let's enjoy this beautiful artwork, then. For lack of being able to get to the art gallery, um, this seems like a reasonable place to finish up. So, yeah. Only eight days remaining, and then we got our one-star restaurant, and we get all the fun things that come with that. Um, all the new recipe cards, all the new mayhem, more service stations, more customers, to-go menus, and all the like. Um... Maybe a year or something from now, we'll get back to the source code of this game and try to expand it a bit. I mean, that might be too soon. There are things I would want to achieve with this game at some point. Um, yeah, I could get the bot running on this again. I think that'd be a fun thing to do. Uh, I think I kind of perfected the game with the bot, or at least a great many recipes I've done very well. At some point, I do want to try somebody else's bot on it, specifically the Serpent AI library. Um, but right now, it's kind of failing at image recognition and such. It's greatly improving um, and shows great promise. Although, I think I'd want to start it on a simpler game first, which would be Valhalla. Um, and once it masters Valhalla, then maybe turn it to a more action-packed game like this one. I don't know. Or maybe try it on some other kind of service-based game. I think that uh, these bots and libraries and such could be exciting. Uh, I just have to find the right combination of game and library for it to be interesting enough. And I don't really see a way to bootstrap. Um, this game just seems very much too difficult for an AI to learn. Like, there are just too many buttons it would have to hit correctly to randomly guess how to win a game. Uh, it's not like the... AlphaGo challenge, or it's not like the uh, Leela chess thing, where it can play against itself. 
here it's got an environment to play against, and it's not going to hack the game or anything to get access to its resources of the game. I mean, maybe there could be a way to train it inside of the practice chores, or inside of like the preparing a dish prep menus. I'm not sure, maybe you could master maybe one of these recipes or one of these little mini game things here, but I don't know. Oh yeah, Papers, Please is an interesting candidate. Um, at least you'd see successes and failures. I still think, um, well, no, the object recognition's got to improve over time with that game, so you'd, yeah. I do think that these uh, unsupervised learning, where it has to learn on its own, is probably not going to go as well as semi-supervised learning, where you could have like a chat room involved in trying to play the game and have the AI compare what it would have selected versus what um, a human audience would select. Um, especially in a pass-fail sort of environment such as Papers, Please, I think that could be effective. Um, or maybe there are other online games where a semi-supervised strategy would be most effective until people learn better unsupervised learning strategies or heuristics. And there are ways to make that work for that game. I just don't think the libraries are mature enough. And I don't feel like writing um, my own library in addition to my own algorithms. But once libraries mature a bit, once perhaps um, even modular AIs or agents mature a bit, then maybe we'll drop it in something like this. Um, yeah, no, we got Ace OCR working to a pretty high degree with this game. Um, it just took, like, you've probably seen the VODs. It took a number of days to get it um, to be even remotely effective at most of these things. Um, it is something that with time we were able to master, but it took an enormous deal of time and taught me a lesson that... Um, you know, it's not just right around the corner. It's going to take a lot of effort to get this going. So, I'm trying to figure out where would be a good place. Oh, yeah, we could check our statistics. Food served. Yeah, this is a reasonable place to end it. And there are ways, like, I could change the game. Um, like, now that I have the source, I could replace all the fonts with easier to read fonts. That would not be an issue. It would take time. It could be doable. Um, wouldn't have to do it all at once. Could do it one level at a time. Um, but the OCR matured enough. That really wasn't the obstacle here. The obstacle was that developing a self-learning AI that has to randomly hit buttons and guess enough things correctly is just not really feasible. It has to get better at reading the recipes and then applying like English sentiment analysis which I see there are libraries for, and I do want to get more involved with those. Um, you'll note that uh, Nightbot's no longer here, and that I have launched my own uh, bot. I say that, but no, it's um, it's an open source bot that I've launched here in the channel. Um, what was the name of it? I know the account name on Twitch is Go to Lesher Bot. Uh, it's Phantom Bot is the source code. P H A N T O M. Phantom bot. Um, so the idea with that is that in theory that can provide some leverage to me being able to develop modules for such a bot and once I get comfortable with module development for such a bot then I could start integrating things like sentiment analysis, experimenting with that outside of the context of games and then once I've had some success with that outside of games, bring that context into a game and see like if it can read the recipe card and figure out um, what it means. Um, but yeah, for purposes of the video, let me do the outro. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. For purposes of the live stream, um, I could show off... Uh, 